Bruin, it's all about enzymology. Uh, what is beer? Beer is a, uh, a fermented beverage out of cereal grain. When we talk about beer, we don't talk about all of this cereal grain. We talk about barley. Not only barley, but malted barley. Why? Well, barley inflicts on the flavor, and also barley it's, uh, uh, it has a husk, different from wheat. Barley has a great amount of enzymes. Uh, white enzymes. So enzymes, they act as scissors. They break up the starch. In every cereal, there, there is starch. And starch is basically long chains of sugars. So basically, the, the enzymes cut those long chains of sugars down into simple sugars. You know, and that's what's used for the yeast to convert into alcohol and carbon dioxide. So in a nutshell, so you got, you got the, bar, the malted barley. You have uh, uh, the hops. Hops are flowers. Uh, they serve a purpose to add uh, bitterness and aroma to the beer. Uh, there are noble hops from Europe. There are American hops, obviously, from uh, the United States. There's, there's a beauty to American hops. American hops uh, can be citric, uh, fruity, uh, tropical, while the, uh, the noble hops are more towards uh, um, the floral, uh, herbs, or... Um, even earthy, you know. The hops are the spice of beer. Hops are the nose and the bitterness of beer. So picture picture barbecue without salt and pepper. There'll be beer without hops. Okay. Also, hops aids uh, foam stability um, and uh, helps with the, the uh, shelf life. It's like making a making a big tea. So I extract. I add I add my grain with my water. Okay, and then I transfer all of that sweet liquid from the grain into the kettle, and now it's like making a big tea out of it. Instead of adding tea leaves, I'm adding uh, 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 hot flowers in the kettle. So I bring that to a boil, and the boil will extract all of those compounds that make the beer um, aromatic and bitter. So it's like extracting all the bitterness from the hops during boil. After that's cooled down, then I'm going to transfer the wort to the fermenters, and then I'm going to add the yeast. And the yeast is going to make the magic, uh, which is fermenting. And that's what we consider for the longest time. We didn't know about microbiology, so we thought that uh, uh, beer was made through alchemy, you know, some sort of magic you know, going on, and now we know better.